So this is a job I've been doing in installments just down the road from us. Uh, before the house was built, I came in with a 12-ton digger and stripped the driveway off and lay some metal down just so the builders and that would have access without getting stuck. And then after the house was built and the new garage was put up, um, even then the, the gravel's been coming in installments and um, we're doing bit by bit. Um, but the end's in sight now. So when I, um, when I do a job like this with this little digger, there's a lot of double handling or triple handling or four times handling because it just doesn't have the reach. Like with a big digger you can swing it round and send it halfway down the yard but with this you're just shifting a little bit, a little distance at a time. But, but it's just a case of just persevering with it and plot away. Um, so for, And because it wasn't suitable for the truck to spread the gravel so um, it just dumped it in heaps and then I just work away at it with the digger and shift it round to where I want to with, with the bucket uh, and then sometimes push it round with the blade. It's just a case of keep on shifting it to where you want it and and then and then level it out but, um, so it, it does take a while but it's better than doing it with a shovel and a wheelbarrow It's quite a, it's actually quite a big driveway this, um, which is good too because it means you, you're not mucking around in a little wee pokey drive and people come, there's plenty of room to turn and park and that. Uh, so we're doing quite a big driveway, but it just means this little digger's got to shift the stuff quite a long way. Um, but we're getting there. One of the problems of working with this crushed gravel is that you're dragging it to the digger all the time and it does tend to get in the tracks and jam the tracks up. Um, with a big heavy digger on steel tracks, it's not really a problem. They just break the rocks up. But little digger on rubber tracks, you just you need to clear the gravel out. Otherwise, you damage the tracks or even flick them off. But it's just um, one of those things you deal with on the day. So I shift a, certain, a fair bit of the stuff around with the bucket and then I just level it off with the blade. This bit here actually in front of the garage we'd already done but over since the last installment it's settled down so it just needed topping up a bit. 
um, and so we're just pushing a bit more up there just to build it up a bit you can actually shift quite a bit of stuff just pushing it round off the blade and then sometimes there's a, a bit of a hollow here and there so you just gotta shove the stuff around I don't know how other guys get on but I actually find it quite difficult to do a nice leveling job with a little machine that's only designed to dig holes. Here I just needed a bit more down where the driveway meets the road and so rather than handle it four times to get it there I just put it on the trailer and take it down and then scrape it off with the digger when I get there. It's just a bit quicker. Sometimes I push the stuff around with the blade and then other times it's actually easier um, to back blade it. Especially here it was just a little bit high in the gateway so I was back blading it to level it off and fill in a bit further up the drive. have any sort of compactor or anything or rollers so, um, and I don't know how much good it does just track rolling it with a little machine like this but it all helps and you get it round reasonably firm and it's surprising how much just the weather helps pack it down over time and, and bit of traffic on it I know with my driveway when I every time I come in and out I drive on a different line and that packs it down evenly Probably be a bad look if we hit the shed here. But we actually got the job done without damaging anything, so that's that's always a plus. So the landowners here feel a bit burdened by the amount of time they have to spend mowing the lawns, especially at this time of year when the grass grows about six inches overnight. Um, so what I did was I um, I built them a mulching mower so that their young daughter could help out with the lawns. It's, it's a bit slow, but it does cut the grass down nice and short and, and it puts a lot of nutrients back into the into the soil. Um, it's just a case of shifting it round now and then. And it's on wheels, so it's easy to move. Uh, there, there's the grass cutter there. Yeah. Uh, He's quite fat, but he's got a long way to go. So this is basically the end product. We've still got a bit of dirt to get rid of, but the driveway's pretty well done now. Um, and, and like I say, with, with the weather on it, over time it settles down and it looks, looks like it's okay. So there we go. We'll see you next time.